on a tree, yeah. so. You wanna take a selfie? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Dema are going to be going on a um, winter safari here in Cumberland, Ohio. Um, Turn all the way up. Kind of to celebrate our anniversary and my birthday, because they're back to back. And um, yeah, so I wanted to bring you guys along and record it, kind of vlog a little bit. I'm going to do the best that I can. Demont just bought me a new camera. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. If you don't, I will leave my username in the description box below. Follow me. I'll put it right here as well. And um, he just bought me a camera, but I left it at home. So I'm a little salty about that. So I'm using my phone, and I don't have any tripod or anything. I'm just using my hand. And it's my arm's a little tired, but oh god, he just tried to break my neck. Hold on, let me scoot this up. Okay, and we're good. I didn't even know they had anything like this in Ohio, but I found it online. And so we're gonna go check it out. And they have really great reviews, so I'm super excited. It's a nice day outside, it's sunny, it's not too cold. Um, the car is beeping at me because I don't have my seatbelt on. Kids, don't be like me. Put your seatbelt on. So, I just wanted to give you guys that little brief intro, and we will see you when you get there. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's another ass coming over here. I just snap. <laughs> so, actually, this is the mom, and then her calf is trotting. Oh, my God. He's coming. So, his name is Elmer Fudd. Oh. Hi, Elmer. Hi. Oh, we surrounded now. He won't come over there. So there's a part of the tour where you ride in a van and you kind of go through the um, pastures and see like um, what does she call them? Back? Tacas. They're really rare. No, but like the ones that don't eat meat. The herbivores yeah. that stay in the the, the um, pastures. So we went and seen those first. And now we are over where the carnivores are at. Here's one over here. He's a little bit closer to the gate. Then they had, they got a bunch of baby cheetahs. Yes, they have some baby cheetahs that were just born. Hey, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see him. You thought that was gonna make him go faster? There's one. Hi. Hi, baby. I think that's gonna make him run. <laughs> he looking like that man is crazy.
She'll eat too. She kind of grabs your hand a little bit more, but uh, she's she's actually gotten a little more gentle with it. Um, but these two, I'm sure, would be very appreciative of this. <laughs> Welcome to keep feeding as well. Um, and <laughs> so she was she was out in pasture, you know, at the beginning of her life. And uh, then when they came down here, the calf was always going to be pretty skittish. Uh, seeing that. Uh, target trained with her. She'll make a little bit of paint on the end of her lip and she'll uh, kind of go all over canvas with it. Lots of that's a whistle snore. Half of the whistle snore. We found out the white rhino.
just left the safari the last exhibit that we saw was the giraffe exhibit um which was super super cool i would recommend it now it is very different from what i thought it would be i thought that we would be in like a safari truck where you know it's like real open there's no windows that is more of like the safari that happens in the summertime this one um i think the highlight was more based on um the rhino and the giraffe exhibit so the animals that go into the barn during the winter because it's colder we did a little bit of driving around like the um uh, the pastures and stuff and we did see some animals that way but my favorite part was definitely the rhinos and the giraffes because i've never been that close to a giraffe or a rhino before see them up close touch them pet them feed them um and we got to see a baby rhino that was just born a few days ago so i thought that was super cool and we got to see a baby giraffe too usually giraffes don't like you to touch them even like if you go to the zoo and you go to the exhibits where you can feed them they tell you like giraffes do not like to be touched don't touch them it'll freak them out tuffy which was one of the giraffes one of the boy giraffes there loves people like as long as you're feeding him and even i touched him a couple times when i wasn't feeding him he was so cool he let you touch him and all of that but the other giraffes they didn't want to be touched but he was like the first giraffe where i where i've been able to feed him and touch him so i thought that was really really cool we got to feed the baby rhino we got to touch them um i thought it was a really cool experience the highlight was definitely the the rhino and the giraffe encounter what would you say babe what was your favorite part i like the the giraffe encounter and the baby rhino was cool i like feeding them but i think my highlight was like the camel i think the camel part was like really really good and then like the spotted dogs you like that over the rhinos uh i probably would I don't know. I like the camel and the giraffe. It's probably my two favorites. It was cool to see them rhinos like close in person and up close. Like they're massive. Yeah, it's like, like crazy to see a rhino up close. Like it was. I mean, the amount of mass that they they carry and they walk around with. I mean, she was saying like they got some that's you know. 5,000 5, pounds. Yeah, like that's one of the biggest. It's like 5,000 pounds. And then the baby, he weighed, she said he was just a little guy. He weighed 500 pounds. Yeah. And, and then, he was like small. And then as a newborn, they, they weigh about 90 pounds. Yeah, that's crazy. As a newborn. As a newborn, like fresh out 90 pounds. That was crazy to me. So yeah that pretty much sums up our experience i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button right down there and come back to see us again i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye